welcome back everybody to the damn bar for another Big B beer review. All right. This one I'm excited about even though I probably shouldn't be because it's not supposed to be anything really special. But it is a gift from Wayne from Bucks County Beer Reviews. Check out his channel. I'll try to leave a link up here. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. If not, there'll be one in the description below. And make sure you check out Bucks County Beer Reviews. If not, it'll also be in the name of the video. I'll make sure I put them on there too. But uh, I told him I don't get a lot of the, the big macro brews that have been so popular for so long, you know. And this one here is one of them. Like, I don't get hams and stuff like that. And, but I finally, he, he got me the Schaefer beer. Established in the United States in 1842. Yeah. Proudly brewed in the United States of America using the finest quality ingredients. The F&M Schaefer Brewing Company, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. And just like a good old macro brew, them cocksuckers don't want to put the fucking ABV on the can. No ABV on the can. Had to look it up myself. 4.6% ABV, bitches. Put it on the can. It says, we would like to express sincere thanks to our Schaefer customers for their loyalty and support. Well, put the ABV on the can. Yeah, that'll show some damn thanks and all that. Anyway, Schaefer Brewing Company is now actually owned by Pabst Brewing Company of, you know, Pabst Blue Ribbon. So, all right. Um, it's basically an American lager. And I'm, not, I'm not expecting anything special, but it's just I'm happy that I could finally say that I've tried it. I mean, they, they use the same ingredients and stuff. I didn't like to take PBR and put it in a different can. They're, at least they're not supposed to be doing that. It's just beautiful, man. I do love a good American lager. It's just, it's, just uh, it's, it's what you think of beer, you know, when you think of beer. I mean, it's just the way we were raised, I guess. Oh, a little multi sweetness on the nose there. Let me get a little bit hit. A little malty, nothing special. No smell out of the can. But that's just, that's just beautiful. Take a look. Now, I'm not sure. I don't think this is much different than the original can. But there you have it. I mean, it's just like a regular beer can. I like the emblem. Is that, That's basically malt in the background. You know, that's a malt leaf, you know, for two row probably. Very nice. Oh, I can't believe it. There's even some lacing going on there already. Pretty much a dry... Nicely, neatly packed foam for the head. All right. Mm. A little frosty. But other than that, it's really clear. I mean, there's some little floaties, but nothing major. Yeah. So, color-wise, say this is about a four, a three or four. All right, I'm ready to drink it. All right. Salud. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. It's not, it's, it's a macro lager. You know what though, I like this. I like macro lagers. I don't have a problem with them. You know, I don't like the light beers. I don't like the light macro lagers, but I like right, the macro lagers are good. This one actually has a stronger flavor. Wow. Now it's almost reminiscent of like a malt liquor. The flavor is like reminding me of like Colt 45. Mm. I should say Mickey's, that's one of our, yeah. 
or not and uh, still reserved. It's just got that that malt liquorness, but not as not as heavy and strong. Uh, the malts really shine through in this one. I like that. All in all, it's not bad. This is a you know hamburger, French fries, and one of these. You know, even a McDonald's hamburger, French fries, and this near beer, or actually, yeah, or Burger King. Get a Whopper, Whopper with cheese or whatever with this and some fries. Mm hmm. That's a good meal. I tell you what. I mean, I'm not putting that down at all. So online on Beer Advocate, those snobs gave it a 63 out of 100. That's pretty dismal. With an average rating of 2.64. That's out of 300 ratings. On Untapped, with over 5.7 thousand, that blew me away right there, 5.7 thousand. It only gets a 2.65. That's really bad for Untapped for that little bit of ratings for a macro brew. You're probably wondering if it's a macro brew. Why? Well, because it's only recently been brought back by Pats, I believe, and that's why it's not been reviewed as much. There's a lot of these breweries that the big macro breweries that uh, bought out their competitors in the day and did away with them are starting to bring them back and I think that's great. I'm sure this isn't what Schaefer tasted like originally. It might be better, who knows? But I know they're using the same recipe, but they might be adding things or doing things different because not only that, but there might have been different production laws and or production of uh, requirements or what standards that were in place then that aren't now. Things like that. But it's not still it's not a bad brew. And I'm about to be putting this up against because he gave me the Rolling Rock. This is going to be going into a blind taste challenge against Rolling Rock. And he gave me several of these. So I'll probably put it against Rolling Rock. Um, maybe Yingling Premium. Um, and maybe even a Budweiser. So we'll see. I haven't bought any Budweiser in a long time. But I might buy some just to put up against this. You know, and I, I like a good Budweiser every now and then. Just a plain old Budweiser. I just still have a hatred for them for other reasons anyways i don't want to make my channel political so you know it's definitely not a bad brew it's not the best brew ever it's a good macro brew i'm going to be doing the uh you know doing all the challenges and stuff anyways for me when i buy this beer again let's see basically it was a gift but i looked it up online and after taxes at least seven percent sales tax it's 21 dollars and 38 cents for a 30 pack so that's that's not bad. That's only seventy one cents a beer. Yes, I would definitely buy this brew again, just just because I like cheap beer because it's cheap and it's good. So I would buy it again. Um, memory bells, because of what it is, it does get a higher rating. I'm gonna give it a four out of five on the memory bells. Craveability, I think I'll give this one a five, five out of ten, and a big B beer review grade. Ooh, this one gets a solid C. A solid C. Yep. Anyways, I hope you all have enjoyed watching this. If so, please make sure you hit that like button. If you all have had this brew before, let me know in the comments below what you guys think. And, and you all get the upcoming taste challenges. So... And make sure you don't miss out on those, hit that subscribe button. It doesn't cost anything. It's completely free. You know, and if you like watching these videos like this, check out my group, Beer Reviewers United on Facebook. Also free. And you can see all kinds of reviews from reviewers from all over the world. If you're a reviewer, join the group and leave your content there to be seen as well. And I hope to see you all here at the Dan Bar for the next one, the Blind Taste Challenges and other reviews. Till next time, salute and happy days.